Welcome to Business Lines State of the Economy podcast where you will find insight analysis and the story behind the numbers Hello and welcome to Business Lines State of Economy podcast with the theme of marketing In today's episode we look at marketing to the silver generation The International Day for Older Persons just went by and there were a spate of reports on how this cohort is badly ignored To talk about this, we have on the show Shiv Shiv Kumar, operating partner at Advent International, a global private equity firm, who will give us the big picture. And Meenakshi Menon, founder of Spatial Access, a marketing audit firm, and Vana Shakti, an environment initiative, to talk about the nitty gritties. Meenakshi is also building something for Gen S or Generation Silver. So let's dive in right away. Shiv, uh, my first question is to you. You know, think products and services aimed at the silver set, and it's mostly real estate, healthcare, tourism, like pilgrimages, and all that. So, are apparel, jewelry, shoes, food, and other sectors completely missing out on a market that's as big as 138 million in India and expected mm-hmm. to be almost 200 million by 2030? Are marketers missing out on this big opportunity? the first thing is the world always celebrates youth and youthful energy and there's nothing in wrong in that because that's the bulk of the population if you look at population over 60 i think the right the number right now globally is about 1.1 on a population of uh, 8 billion so that's 1.1 billion people are about 12% in india it's about 10% so i think the whole concept of products or services or anything for what you call the silver generation or uh, generation s as you call it starts with design i don't think products have ever been designed for this generation products have been always designed for younger cohorts maybe middle income cohorts and then the elder generation happens to use them uh, there have been of course notable exceptions uh, great products and great advertising like the gillette assisted shaving advertising which won the cans award and the product etc but by and large i would say that product design is the issue nothing is designed for them you look at our airports you look at our apartment blocks you look at our schools colleges etc there are no ramps there are no facilities for wheelchair anywhere you know and i think we need to step that up across the world you know definitely um next is as you had rightly pointed out uh the issue of font size the issue of brands and how they come across uh this cohort about 65 i think only about 45% of people are on the smartphone and about 70 are on the internet if i'm not wrong if i look at my data so basically digital which is the mainstream of talking to people is not you know the mainstream for talking to these people the the silver generation so you need to think of relationship marketing you need to think of community marketing etc uh, i have seen personally a lot of uh, you know old age homes in uh, and assisted living as we call it in coimbatore and in uh, chennai and uh, it's amazing the facilities which people have built there okay that's just one example but i think till you actually rethink design it's unlikely that uh, you'll address this audience that's an uh, that's an amazing perspective shiv yes uh, i think it has to be design led uh, minakshi uh, your take on this what are the big gaps if you can point out yeah i think shiv has raised some very valid questions okay the whole issue of you know the world celebrating youth and energy is is true and indeed it needs to be the primary focus but today as somebody who's 64 i speak on behalf of the um a gen s you know the silver generation not everybody is ready for assisted living and again when you look at target audiences there are groups and there are subgroups i mean any marketer today if you say to them that everybody on the under the age of 21 is the same segment they will laugh and they will say you're an idiot because under the age of 21 the sub 21s have many different subgroups and each of those subgroups has an identity that's very distinct shiv's question of designing for the silvers is a relevant question but my counter to that is the 60 to 
don't really need products to be designed for them as much as communication to talk to them as much as the ability to exercise choice with products that are very very focused at them and i think this is an opportunity that marketers have lost out on because you know when you get to the 75 plus group obviously there there is a lot of you know issues that need to be addressed and different kinds of products become relevant at that point of time and different services become very critical but right now the 60 to 75 group is a group that has incredible spending power has very few responsibilities unlike the 40 to 50 year old and is actually a fabulous market waiting to be tapped into well, why are marketers missing out the segment i mean uh, is it just the sheer size isn't there a Uh, I, I mean, we've seen a lot of D, even the D two C segment. Typically, the uh, direct to uh, I mean, consumer segment has been very quick to spot the gaps and come out with products. But even startups have strangely ignored this category. Yeah, because because Chitra, the thing is, the mass market is basically skewed to the lowest common denominator. Okay, and. again we are a country where penetration of many 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 categories is not yet universal and so there's a lot to be made in the mass market there are consumers to be tapped into there's consumption to be fostered in the mass market and therefore most manufacturers are saying if i still have um you know access to a untapped market still have access to growth let me not shift focus and in many ways that can be justified but the point is there's this huge segment that you're neglecting and when the segment starts speaking up it's like let's look at a simple thing like menstrual cups there were always women in india but there was no focus on menstrual cups until women started saying hey can i get a menstrual cup and then suddenly now you've got a segment that's become fairly significantly active and so that's the transition that we are seeing right now okay uh, shiv you are sitting on a uh, lot of private equity or uh, you know and uh, helping make uh, investment choices do you see anything uh, coming to you interesting by way of companies that are looking at the space no because i think basically when people look at generation s i think they're located as a top up and i i go back to where i started which is the issue of design in which industries are people designing better and where are people designing less i think almost all of fmcg is zero on design for uh, the elderly but if you look at finance what are the big needs of the silver generation their money okay security about their money multiplication about their money having a steady stream of income okay a roof over the head homes ability to to maintain the home health specifically skin in america you got a lot of products for uh, especially women around the crow's nest uh, around their eyes uh, you know their skin their hands etc uh, there are a lot of otc products out there in america which are designed for that but in india you have uh, you know very little uh, of course you have other medis- uh, other stuff like botox etc which is there the other one is i think very important what is one of the biggest differences of somebody who's 60 plus compared to somebody who's 30 or 40 is a slow down in reflexes okay your reflexes slow down okay especially your hands hand movement feet movement etc no products are designed for that which are mainstream products today so for example if you take uh, a very simple thing like you're watching television and you want to switch to the net on the television that symbol comes on whether it's tata sky or anybody just for 5 seconds for somebody who's 60 plus to pull out the remote and then click it and say switch to the you know ethernet etc takes a little more time that's a very simple example but what i'm trying to tell you is that products are not designed for the conditions and the constraints which the silver generation faces okay i think health and uh, financial products are possibly the best examples and you have uh, many companies trying to do that but one thing we nakshi raised was about you know how uh, women are speaking up uh-huh. so 
women as a cohort have become so attractive because they have become you know vocal about their needs and the young are now young woke they are pretty vocal i don't see uh, the seniors by i mean they are by their sheer maturity or experience they are not uh, they are not that vocal you know they'll kind of let it go so when do you see them do you see any uh, i mean unless they demand it they won't get it so is there any movement there building up it's a very interesting time that we live in okay on the one hand i think it was um shiv who made this comment about digital not being mainstream for the seniors but it's fascinating what covid was able to do thanks to covid most seniors and we've done extensive research in this space whether it's something as simple as whatsapp video calling or even using google pay it's quite staggering the number of seniors who were forced to migrate into a digital environment and having migrated into a digital environment because of pressure have now actually adapted to it uh, every time you talk about you know uh, let's say a political commentary people talk about the whatsapp uncles and it's true the amount of older generation who use whatsapp and their familiarity with the platform is again quite staggering so on the one hand you have increasing ability to access the net increasing access to the net increasing familiarity with the net and therefore older people who don't have any products designed for them today and are you know expected to make do with whatever is available and they are an afterthought let's not forget that even culturally in india today we we treat our elders as an afterthought i mean we may have very strong emotional bonds with them but there's no safety net for elders and therefore to that extent people of this age group are actually asking questions are saying you know i may be 65 but i hate to disappoint shiv my reflexes have not slowed down and in fact the recent result and there's been a hell of a lot of research in this area howard is now saying that you take the best decisions when you are in your 60s and they did test between 60 uh, year olds and 35 year olds and they found the 60 year olds outperformed the 35 year olds because the neural networks are far better formed when it comes to problem solving so i think there is a sea change i can see it i know people who we've researched and spoken to can see it the only question is there is that wave coming how are we going to respond to it so shiv yeah that is uh, that's a good question our uh, like it all also begins in a way with advertising which is uh, i mean which is which is kind of uh, it you don't show uh, the senior i mean you show the seniors as you know somebody who, stereotype you yeah, very you. you know you always yeah. show the seniors as stereotype it's the you know the indulgent grandfather indulgent grandmother you know again when you look at health products it's this brightly um 65 year old who's running down a park and you know gives an, a younger woman his pain balm because he uses this product i mean these are all stereotypes and as long as we allow stereotypes to define the world we live in it's so limited isn't it correct so here's a question she when will we see advertising which is breaking the stereotype and showing active seniors you know i mean yeah sure so if i look at it uh, going back to your earlier question chitra mm-hmm. uh, somebody born in western europe after 2019 will live to be 100 mm-hmm. somebody who is born in india today or after 2019 20 will live to be about 90 so i think you'll actually see prolongation of life and the whole concept of what is how many years do you study how many years do you work and how many years do you retire will get redefined it's already right. getting redefined right now Uh, for example if you take america you don't have a retirement age so now if you if you don't allow immigration then you need to raise retirement age okay so it has many implications in terms of what seniors can do or cannot do i believe seniors will end up with paid and unpaid jobs and the biggest thing that seniors bring to the table is experience and specifically on advertising all of advertising or most of advertising one one would argue is stereotype 
the role of kids the role of women the role of uh, you know elders the role of a boss the role of a subordinate there are standard stereotype because advertising plays back what society is feeding back to them okay very few ads actually break the mold but one exception in advertising which i'm sure that you recognize is amitabh bachchan himself somebody who's 80 who seem to be cool uh, who does advertising for brands from a bank to a hair oil okay and is digitally savvy and one of the few guys who actually numbers his tweets and goes back and uh, refers to that so i think he's a great example of what advertising has uh, adapted to in terms of seniors okay he might be uh, an outlier but he's a good example oh yeah that's a very valid point that shiv makes you know about the fact that all our advertising actually reflects stereotypes mm-hmm. and again the thing is that the the brands that have really managed to make a dent and impacted their consumers are the brands that didn't stay in the stereotypical straight jacket think about it every brand that is even amita bachchan brilliant example but what advertising did amita do that you remember even today i'm sure 90% of us can't remember the brands he's involved with but you will remember the cadbury worm controversy and how amita addressed that right because that was non stereotypical that was breaking the box both the problem and the way he handled the solution so yeah. i think we both in agreement on this i saw it in an yeah. airport uh, chitra which is you know uh, when we worked on the jewelry category you uh, know 66% of uh, jewelry is about bridal and we so always think of you know you have to address the bride etc there was this very clever advertising which advertised with the heritage the bride her mother and her grandmother showing three different types of pieces of jewelry which you wear but still very fashionable i thought that was a very smart move which somebody did it's good to see these uh, the breaking stereotype things emerging so finally i mean uh, we are nearing the end of our time so if you could give your you know message to marketers on addressing this cohort meenakshi you go first yeah sure i'd love to because you know my my one line advice to marketers is this group has the money this group has the time this group has in fact the time is the most important resource that this group has which many other groups don't have and therefore because they have the time you can actually build serious engagement with this group this group is not transactional this group is into long term relationships and therefore if you don't see the sustained value that this group can give to your bottom line then you're really truly missing the bus and need to be under it yeah you're so right because i read a bcg report which said that this set is more loyal than any other segment you know so exactly yeah so shiv so, we always look at the end result or a research report etc the reason why the silver generation is more loyal is that they tend to break habits lesser so habit is something that you know stays with them and they stay with it you know they're very loath to break a habit so starting with that then i would tell marketers what can you do to build a habit regime with these guys that's how you should you know truly think about it and next throw out all the media rules throw out all the marketing rule books and rethink how you need to connect with uh, this generation i think there will be a new playbook for somebody who does it well i think the old playbook uh, will not work that that would be my advice well said absolutely new playbook shiv that's what we need wonderful having both of you and i think there's plenty of food for thought here and uh, hope to see you all soon again thank you